If you're trying to convert your textbook or PDF into a ready-to-present slide deck, here's how you could do it in a matter of seconds. I'm going to show you a way that's completely for free using the top AI tools. First, if your document is 5,000 words or less, or if it's in the format of a Google Docs, Slides, Microsoft Word doc, or PowerPoint, then you're in luck. Feel free to skip to the second section of this video where it's going to be able to convert all of that directly into a slide deck using a tool called Gamma. If not, if you have a big file, maybe in a PDF format, I'll show you just how you can get started first with Microsoft Bing. First, you're going to go to microsoft.com slash edge. If you haven't downloaded already, I recommend you download it. It's completely free and you don't even need an account to use it. If you're unfamiliar with Microsoft Edge, it's essentially a web browser, kind of like Google Chrome. But Microsoft Edge has a feature called Microsoft Bing, which is an AI powered search engine tool. It has a lot of unique features and it can also read what's on your page and summarize your document. So once you've opened up your Edge browser, you're going to pull up that document or PDF that you want to use for your slide deck. For my example, I'm going to use this history textbook. As you can see, there's a ton of pages and chapters, but for the slide deck, I'm going to focus on chapter one, which is about early America. Then on the top right corner, you're going to see a white bubble with the B in blue. That is the Microsoft Bing feature. You're going to go ahead and click on that. So I'm just going to scroll to the top right here. But on the top bar, you're going to see chat, compose, and insights. For now, we're going to focus on chat. If this is your first time using Microsoft Bing, you'll also be asked to allow access to page content. And you want to click yes, turn on. You'll also have the option to choose between different conversational tones. I'm going to choose precise because we're using this for educational purposes. Initially, it may also give you a page summary, but no need to worry about that for now. Instead, you're going to head over to the bottom and click on the Ask Me Anything box. Here, you're going to type in your prompt. So for mine specifically, I wrote, I'm a teacher creating a 10 page slide deck on chapter one of this PDF for my third grade class. Please create an outline of the slide deck with a title and informational bullet points for each slide. Make sure to change this prompt according to your appropriate setting, purpose, and role. I recommend that you try to be as specific as possible and feel free to experiment with different prompts that work best for you. Once you're done, you're going to click on the arrow at the right and then it's going to search your page for information and generate exactly what you asked. And now we're just going to let AI take care of the rest. It's going to generate the slides and the contents for each slide, so the title as well as the informational bullet points that we asked to generate. Next, I'm going to need to transfer this over to a free slide deck making tool called Gamma. So right now I'm just going to use Control C to copy this information down. Then I'm going to head over to gamma.app. Here you can create a free account and log in. I'm going to click create new and then text transform. Then this is going to pull up and as you can see, there's a lot of customization features. But first I'm going to press Control V and paste all the information I got from Microsoft Bing over to that big box you see in the middle. If your document is 5,000 words or less, you can also just paste it here, or you can import one of those files I mentioned earlier in the video. Surrounding it is some more additional features. You could change the format, the length, the image license, and the model. You can also provide specific instructions. You could change it to a professional tone, an educational format. You can even translate it to a different language. Once you're satisfied, you're going to click Generate, and then you're going to choose from a wide variety of themes. I just chose the icebreaker theme. Click Continue, and now you're basically done. The slide deck is going to be generated for you automatically with AI, and at this point, it's about making any adjustments or minor edits that you want for your slide deck. Gamma is a very powerful tool in that it will format your content in a very visual and organized manner. It also will include images for you automatically so that you don't have to find them yourself. Um, but it also gives you the option to change it later on if you don't like it. I also briefly wanted to show you how the bullet points that we use to create this presentation, it corresponds directly on the slide so that you're not missing any information. And this is what the first draft of the presentation looks like after it's been generated by AI. I didn't make any edits on this so far. You can always make changes to your slide deck so you can add a new card or have AI generate it for you. So for example, I'm just going to have it write a slide about the challenges faced by pilgrims and then it'll just automatically do it for you using the power of AI. You can also edit the text by clicking on the slide. You can change out an image that's already been provided for you. 
and you can fix the layout to your liking, change the style, there's a ton more features offered through Gamma. Once you're done, you can present directly using this tool with the purple present button. You can share this slide deck with others. You can also get analytics. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a like and a subscribe. If you're a teacher, you can also subscribe to our free weekly newsletter with helpful resources. See you in the next video.